Okay, so we had the first episode of Batwoman. Now, the initial teaser trailers were not good. So now we had to have the, the, the full, here's your background story of this character. Not, not horrible, but not something that I'm like, man, I can't wait for the next episode. So the main villain, Alice, is an Alice in Wonderland style of character who's not super compelling and or interesting. So it's a pale, pale white with pale white hair, kind of like a, a poor imitation of the Joker. There's some unique revelations about the character, but nothing to go, oh wow, that sounds awesome. I can't wait to see more of this kind of bland character that hopefully they add significantly more layers of dimension to. And it's, it's pretty much like they took Batman and Batgirl and blended character elements together. Her father runs the elite police force slash paramilitary group called the Crows. She has spent her whole life trying to become dedicated to be able to work with the Crows. But then she decides that she doesn't want to be conformed to that box while she finds out that her cousin Bruce Wayne is Batman. That's not a spoiler, it's in all the trailers. You could pretty much kind of figure out that, oh, hey, she takes his stuff. So she's so non-conformist that she rebels against her father, but then immediately takes the conformity that is Batman. And there's other elements that are directly lifted almost bit for bit from Batman mythology. And I'm like, it's not bad. Uh, Ruby Rose, I believe that's her name, she has a very good presence. And for the character they're trying to go for, she has enough, say, androgynousness to her, or androgyny, androgyny, that she can pull off both looking like soft masculine as well as kind of like a hard feminine version, which I think kind of works for this sort of role. You know, the, the Batman suit itself looked bizarrely shaped. When they first showed it, it's like, huh, that doesn't look like it was made for a man. It was made for a man who had a very unique body type. So, not bad. Nothing fantastic. I will say, watching it on the CW app, I do hate seeing the same commercial several times. I got to see The Masked Singer four times in one commercial break. They really should work on that. And seeing her have a crossover with Supergirl, let's say, we're the world's finest. I was like, hmm. Yeah, I'm not digging that. Because Supergirl, when she is Supergirl, it's not bad. Everything else, they need to make like a version of Supergirl where it's just, you know, they cut out all the in-between and it's just her in the suit fighting. But, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. I do know, I think, that with the arrow wrapping up, they might do an all-female, like, arrow character sort of thing. Could be interesting. Could be in could be unique. Maybe, maybe not. So, Bat -Gir Batwoman, not as bad as the trailers made it out to be, but not something that I'm, you know, really easily and definitely going to, to make significant time to, to squeeze into my my watching routine.